Yes. So he said, when an object is more dense than the air or medium around it, it falls. That's our argument. Relative density. He just if we take a less dense object and we put more of the less dense object on a balanced beam, okay, and we have a more dense object on the other side of the balanced beam, why will the, the less dense but more massive object push that balanced beam down for even though the other side of the balanced beam is more dense but less massive? Explain that to me if it's all about relative density. So are you saying when you get more of stuff that goes down, why it weighs the same as a oh more dense God. object? So when you have two, when you have two objects, right? One is less dense than the other, but there's more of it. Why will it cause a scale to tip in on its side? What does that have to do with anything? Your whole your whole gravity is based on density and buoyancy. There's no it has nothing to do with the amount of mass. It is completely based on density and buoyancy. Stop talking about there's more. I've already told you it's less dense on one side, it's more dense on the other. Why is the less dense being pulled down? Because there's more of it. Because mass is yeah. affected by gravity. The force being pulling down on the more massive but less dense object is greater than the force pulling down on the more massive but less dense object. And that is why the scale will tip, even though the relative densities are different. Why is that? Why do you say relative density for one explanation, but then you can't use relative density in the other one? Relative density, when you get more of it, can weigh the same or more than a denser object, Team Skeptic.